putting crampons on, I have found the easiest way to do this is if you can sit down. You can find a rock out here to sit on or sit on a little snow ledge. You know, put one leg over the other and then make sure the welt is clean of any snow right there. And then you want these things tight. So make sure they're adjusted for your boot there. A lot of crampons will have an adjustment on the back there, just so you can tension these things. You want them nice and snug so they're not flopping around when you're kicking very hard ice. Yep. And then I've got a little safety strap on here. It's wise to have that. Every once in a while, crampons do fall off for some strange reason. You know, the might be the uh, pressure that you put on at some strange angle. You know, and if it does, you don't want it to get away. So the safety strap does nothing to keep the crampon on your foot. It just prevents it from falling away if you're up on the cliff and you have some disconnect for some reason there. So should be nice and tight, should be nice and sharp, should have a safety strap. Most modern crampons do have a left and a right. So as you can see, this has a slight curve to it, you know, when it's all set properly. So that's obviously the left foot there. Um, you could climb with it on the wrong foot there, but it won't stay on as well. It's more likely to come off there. It's not going to feel as comfortable. So yeah, identifying the left and the right is somewhat important. Um, you know, talk about the sizing of the crampon, you know, making um, little minute adjustments it makes all the difference. It's nice to have no movement, no flex whatsoever in your system there because you're kicking very, very dense ice at times and you can't afford to have this flopping around on your boot there. It's going to fall off and or break, right? It's not going to give you uh, much confidence there, so yeah, proper sizing. And throughout the day, it's not a bad idea to check them. You know, have they loosened up in any way? Have you got some ice or snow underneath there? Do you need to clean that off? Do you need to reset them? You know, over the course of many, many years of ice climbing, you know, I've had my crampons have problems throughout the day or this or that, and you know, it takes a moment, clean them up, and then you're back in the game. You gotta have confidence that they will work well, that we will be safe, and they'll stay on your feet.